Hi guys, so today is the 23rd of August and I am 30 weeks and two days. I actually recorded, I did an update start of the week, but then I realized I forgot to press record. So let's just try that again. So welcome to third trimester. Um, I ended last the last video just before 28 weeks when I was officially in third trimester. And I feel like so much things has happened since then. And now things are really starting to, I guess, go on a roll and I'm um, actually starting to happen. So in terms of symptoms and stuff like that, um, yeah, right on 28 weeks, I started to feel kicks like externally. So before I was feeling like little air bubbles in my stomach and then now I'm actually starting like I felt little bumps um, just by feeling my stomach on the outside, which was so cool. Like every time, like the first time I felt kind of like a movement inside, like I was like sleeping and then I went, <gasps> when you feel it. And then now the same thing kind of happened. Like I was just in bed in the morning snoozing and I felt the kick and I was like, <gasps> Yeah, it was just such a surreal experience. It's not the, it's like a little faint kind of like, it's not the strongest kick, um, but they heard nuggets definitely kicking in there. So I'm starting to feel kicks and stuff like that now. Um, on 28 weeks, I also did do um, a few blood tests. Um, also, I had to pee as well, which is super hard when like now it's all of a sudden. Like, I didn't think my stomach was, my tummy was really growing at a fast pace. But then all of a sudden, boop, my stomach just kind of grew. And you know how it's actually really hard trying to aim. I found it really hard trying to aim into a cup to pee when you can't see. Um, so that was really interesting. I also got the whooping cough injection as well. So I am all for vaccination. So making sure that things are up to date. So Kyung already got his um, earlier on when we were told about it. But I just got mine now um, at 28 weeks. And literally for like for the whole week, my f like my arm was like bruised and had this lump on it so i don't know if that's meant to happen but it is kind of like a tetanus kind of shot so i'm assuming that that's normal um but yes yeah, so i've had that and i've also um noticed that i've had an increase in blood like they're not blood like sugar levels so um, i did see my diabetes specialist to check up on that because he was a bit worried um that was getting a bit high so i do have the insulin pen ready to go um, I'm not on it yet. We're just continuing to monitor it. Like it's, I guess, further on now the pregnancy, um, my sugar levels will be slightly increased. So I'm still managing it. Um, I, I, I haven't really changed much of my diet, actually. Like I try to eat healthier or just eat like, you know, better food. Um, so like nuggets getting the nutrients, but I haven't really made like that much of a dramatic change. I have been eating a lot of like sliced bread. That's kind of like my craving for a while. Um, so I have been trying to eat wholemeal bread, but oh, it is so disgusting. It's like eating cardboard, like, at first, I didn't mind, but now it's starting to bother me. So I'm like, I've got to find something else to have for breakfast because it just tastes like cardboard and it's so bad. But um, yeah, and I'm still craving orange juice, so I'll have that in the morning. And I've also, like, I don't know whether it's within season, but strawberries have been fairly cheap, so I've been eating that. And they're not too bad. I mean, they're not as sweet as the ones in Japan, but it's quite nice. And karakara oranges. So I'm... I love orange juice, but I'm not a big fan of real oranges because I hate peeling them and cutting it. And sometimes it's a hit and a miss because it's dry sometimes. You never know. But lately, Kara Kara oranges have been really, really nice. I've been loving those. Um, but yeah, that's I haven't really had any further cravings, like big cravings, um, apart from those. Um, I had my OB appointment this week as well. So usually I see her every month. But leading, I guess, now that we're two months out... Um, I'm seeing her every fortnight. So she just wants to monitor it because my sugar levels are getting high. So once, I guess, she did mention once I got on the insulin, then we will need to monitor at 36 weeks. So I am due at the end of October the third, uh, 30th. But because I'm a risk of diabetes, we, may have, we have to start monitoring at 36 weeks. So I may even you know give birth at 38 weeks which is quite common um it's not it doesn't it's not necessarily like you know it definitely will happen but it depends on the size of nugget um how fast they grow because if you're um gd then you do tend to have a bigger baby so 
So we're just trying to, I guess, work on that now. Um, I've also, so this leading up to pregnancy now, I guess things are starting to roll into action. So many things are happening. We have so much appointments that I've got. Um, I now booked in a <clears throat> a physio appointment to see a physio, um, just to work on exercises and stuff. Like now that my belly, like I do definitely feel like my belly's popped a lot more, and I am definitely definitely pregnant um and i haven't like every day little things have been a struggle so like walking sleeping just turning from sight i'm um, having like burping fit as well right now um but like turning from side to side when i'm trying to sleep i pee a lot um just little everyday things have been a little bit of a struggle so i can't wait to give birth to be honest like some people love being pregnant and stuff to be honest like i think i mentioned this before but it's not really I just want them out. I'm just like, yeah, over the whole waiting. Um, but it's so weird knowing that in the next two months, our lives are going to change. So, um, yeah, I've got birthing classes booked. I've got, like, pre-admission, like, midwives appointments. Um, seeing, Still seeing a nutritionist and my, di my diabetes specialist as well. I've got a baby shower to organise um, coming up as well. So I'm not sure, like... We haven't really also bought a lot. We bought all the major stuff, but we're still like the little everyday stuff. So we're still kind of moving along. And I'm still working at the moment as well, like three, only three days a week. I might actually go down to two soon. So it just gives me a time for appointments, which is quite good. Um, and then I'll finish up end of September, which gives me hopefully like two weeks to organize my shit um clean up wash a lot of the baby stuff and yeah so hopefully i'll have like a nursery and stuff to show you um bring you along to the baby shower as well as just yeah this is gonna be like where things start to happen i am 20 no <laughs> 31 weeks right now 31 weeks and one day um I haven't had any appointments since last time. Um, everything kind of starts next week, I guess. But this week we've been hectic, running around a lot. Um, just preparing because we're having our baby shower this Saturday slash gender reveal. So I'm super excited um, to find out the sex of it. Like we've had the envelope since 10 weeks and we've decided to kind of hold it off. And I did realize I think the reason why I chose to hold it off is because it's just the whole pregnancy experience like finding out I was pregnant it seemed so surreal like we were kind of in denial and shock about the whole thing and I don't know I felt like once you know the sex of the baby everything seemed so real that I was worried that if something happened then I may not do as well than if I found like if I found out the sex before so not knowing the sex now I kind of thought maybe that will kind of soften the blow a bit if anything was not to happen but since we're almost to the end anyway um I thought it was a safe time to kind of find out but stupid me like saw a comment the other day like you know those baby forums and things like that actually it wasn't even a baby forum it was like on YouTube or something someone mentioned that you know their baby passed away at 32 weeks and I'm like I'm just not I'm not even there yet like I've got another week and like I don't know like I know up until the birth even after the birth I guess anything could happen to your baby like the thought of losing your own child before yourself um yeah it's like really it's really sad but you know I'm trying to stay positive with the whole thing but you know just I don't know, like, I haven't exactly been too careful with things, especially when it comes to food. Like, I can always yell at me yell at me for a bit because I kind of push the border a bit when it comes to food. Like, obviously, like, I'm safe. I clean everything. I wash everything. I don't eat, like, the specific food. Um, but I still eat, like, you know, macas and stuff and, like, salads. I buy salads and stuff. Um, I obviously try to wash it if I can. But if it's if there's salad on the side of dishes and stuff, like, I'll have, like, a bite or two. But I haven't really been too, I guess, anal about food, like, taking the risk and stuff. But I try to eat, like, nuts, eggs, cheese. Because, I don't know, I have this theory that kids nowadays get allergies because, you know, there's so much safetyness going on. Um, 
like research and stuff that people don't eat it during pregnancy that's why when the kid comes out but one of my girlfriends have proven me wrong um she ate eggs during her old pregnancy and her daughter's allergic to eggs so that completely went out the window but anyway so yeah so i'm super excited tonight we actually have our first um birthing class at the hospital i am so nervous like i have never been exposed around little kids so i'm like I don't know, like, Kang and I, Kang's even worse. Like, I don't know how we're going to survive. Like, obviously, I think once we're in that situation, we'll be fine. But just the whole idea of having to look after, like, a little child. Like, Coco was, like, a good trial run. But at the end of the day, he's a dog, you know. <laughs> he eats his own poo. So um, I don't know whether that's our training or him. But hopefully, like, Nugget will be a lot better. Um, but, yes, yeah, so I just wanted to give a quick update. Like, I haven't really had much... Right now, I'm just more tired than anything. Like, my sleeping pattern's kind of out of whack because I'm up a couple of times a night peeing, that I don't really get full night's sleep, that I'm really tired during the day. I take naps. Sometimes it goes for, like, an hour, sometimes five hours, and then I can't sleep at night. Um, I haven't had any, again, bad symptoms. In terms of bowel movement, though, I am on the softer side than the constipated side, so I don't know if it's TMI, but... Um, I find it like nowadays I get really, really thirsty and then next minute I'll be like in the toilet with the runs. Like it's pretty bad, but you know, the OB, I mean like everything I, that happens, I always note it down and mention to the OB, but she didn't seem concerned about it. So I guess it's a good thing. Like, hey guys, so today is the 1st of September and we are doing our baby shower today. I'm super excited. It's like almost one o'clock so it's about to start um i've just spent pretty much the whole morning whipping out last minute things and i've got some cousins here helping me with like grazing tables and things like that um we are doing a gender reveal as well today so i'm super excited um my cousin just bought the balloons over so it's super big um, i probably won't do like a full um vlog for today probably just like a little snippet otherwise this video will go for very very long um but yeah i'm super excited so i'm gonna take a little bit of a snippets throughout the day and show you I'm not so today is the 2nd of September um didn't really record a lot yesterday because I was just too things were just too hectic so lucky I had um, a couple of people record a few things for me which I just shared in a few snippets um, but I was just pretty much all over yesterday like I don't even remember like I was pretty much standing the whole time I didn't really get a lot of time to sit down and then when I did finally sit down and I was talking to my cousin I realized I was like kind of half falling asleep like I feel so bad but I was just exhausted um, but it was a really good night nice, super excited like I guess Kang and I were really I guess hoping it was a girl not that having a boy is a bad thing I think for me especially actually Kang's reason is because he didn't like the name I chose for a boy but I especially am um, excited having a girl because I think having a girl um, is something you know I can share my experiences with I'm looking forward to teaching her a lot just about life and I guess more how to accept it and deal with it as well um, but yeah so got a lot of like little gifts I'm in the nursery by the way which I probably won't show you yet um, kind of not really done yet so I'll do a reveal or something like that later on down the track but Got a lot of presents from like family and friends. So I'm really, really happy and like excited. Like it was overwhelming. Like I didn't expect to get a lot of things. Uh, I'm really grateful that we have a lot of good family and friends here for support for us as well. So yeah, so finally that's over. We know what we're having now. So things I guess are starting to look more real. We've got another class this week. Last week was really good. It was pretty much just like about labor and like natural birth, what to expect, which wasn't too bad because I've been hearing a lot of raw intense stories from friends. But when it's explained, like the way she explained it was kind of more comforting um more assurance that you know it's not as bad as it is she gave more of a like you know medical technical view on things so I understand how it kind of works I guess so so today is the 11th of September it is Tuesday and I'm 33 weeks today thought I'd give you guys an update because I'm very cautious of like how much updates I give because I notice my videos go way too long so if it's not necessary then like I'll try not to um because either way they end up being long anyway so it has been a few like a week or two since 
since the baby shower and a few things has happened. So my sugar levels have started to creep up a lot. So today I saw my diabetes specialist. Um, I saw, I pricked myself four times a day just to monitor the reading, but usually in the morning, one week it's the morning, next week it's the dinner time that goes up high. So right now, like I guess the during the day I can try to um, reduce it with what I eat so before I was craving a lot of fruit and I've noticed now that I'm towards the end of the pregnancy the fruit toast sugar level like my increase my sugar so i've got to be very careful so i'm trying not to eat too much or even any fruits um, i love orange juice in the morning and i still do but it hasn't impacted my morning reading i don't think but i am just being cautious adding water to it just to dilute it a bit because it does kind of help me take my medication like vitamins and stuff like that um but yeah but i saw the diabetes specialist so i was worried because i didn't want to put nugget at risk um once i'm on the insulin because you know it's a high risk but he said it should be fine for now because he's given me a little um a little pen to inject my inject myself just before dinner or just when I'm eating dinner at this stage it's a slow release one so he's given me one previously just in preparation in case it gets too high now that it is it's not too bad but because it's still high he's given me another one that's like 30 percent like 30 percent rapid um release and then a 70 percent slow release so few things as well i just want to go through what i've noticed is um skin pigmentation like I've never really had an issue. My mum, I think as older you get, then you start to notice it. But I started to notice that little skin pigmentation. How cool are my eyes, by the way? Eee! My cousin did lashes on me. So I think I want to get them done when I'm in labor. Just so I don't have to wear much makeup. I know it's very vain on me, but like you're going to take photos and stuff. You just want to kind of look in good you know what i mean um but yeah so i noticed some skin pigmentations like this spot here and stuff i don't know whether i should start putting cream now or wait till she comes out but things like that i've started to notice um i am getting the i feel like some days i'm getting the restless leg syndrome back um in my lower legs um i have trouble sleeping at night now that i'm slightly heavier like, i haven't really put on a lot of weight which is good but i've noticed it is a struggle tossing and turning in bed trying to get a good position to sleep she's not kicking vigorously but she is moving quite a lot and i do feel it um i am starting to get back pain so i've been good so far that i haven't been getting it but now i am like if i stand too long um, or go for walks like Cal always encourages me to go for walks um, I've noticed like a lot of more heartburn and more like short breath as in like either she's blocking it or she's pushing everything up that it's making me hard to breathe I feel really congested and blocked in my chest area um, so yeah I've noticed that and oh and another thing as well which I know is a bit of a TMI but I also feel like I'm getting a sore groin um, it's more in the morning when I turn over to get out of bed or go to pee. I feel like my groin, like I call it my vagina bone because it's like that part of the groin where you kind of sit on. Um, but I feel like it's like this bruising sensation. I can't explain it, but I've asked um, my OB and she said, you know what, it's just your body preparing for childbirth. So it should be like, don't stress too much about it. It's just, it's not fully painful, like, um, but it is kind of like uncomfortable so i am seeing a physio right now i saw her last week or the week before um just to kind of go through i don't exactly know why i thought she was going to give me like some kind of exercise tips um just to work on my like pelvic floor muscles and like you know to stop me from getting like a prolapse and things like that but she, all she did was really target pain areas but it was really hard to kind of determine because i have a really high tolerance of pain but i did come out of that so she massaged my back a bit um just to help and i did come out feeling a lot better um but like i said like because i see her like i should be seeing her every fortnight but i had to reschedule three weeks just to kind of go around appointments because i have a lot of appointments um but yeah, it does kind of help, but I'm not sure whether it's necessary. Um, but I am getting more back pain now the more I walk. I think it's just all the pressure on the top, like the front, the weight, um, extra weight that I'm carrying. Um, but yeah, and another thing as well is I'm not sure whether this is pregnancy related, but I did have, um, what's it called? psoriasis psoriasis like the like scarring on my scalp so i've always kind of had an issue with that i first thought it was like dandruff between seasons but it's kind of gone really bad so i've been using like this medicated treated um shampoo which i've done in one of my favorite posts 
while ago which I've been using on and off and because I'm pregnant I thought you know what I'll give it a break to see but it's kind of come back so I don't know whether this is like related to pregnancy or maybe because you know a lot of times when you're pregnant it brings a lot of um like a lot of issues that you've had and just kind of like enhances it so I'm still back on so I've got to get back and see whether that will help it so yeah that's the only difference that I've really noticed like um appointments so I had my second I'm doing my last birthing class tomorrow it's been very helpful like it just puts you at ease in what to expect when you're in the hospital they also go through like you know what you should pack what you should bring what should you know what will happen we did like a tour around the um the birthing suites and stuff at the hospital so it's actually quite like um reassuring and today I also went and met well I didn't meet my midwife but I did kind of register with the hospital just to like get a few details down and and we were running a bit late but I kind of just like knocked through it like she was like you know this is the quickest kind of pre-administration I've done because you know every question is like yes no yes no I was on the ball so I've already booked like a CPR class first aid done all the birthing doing the last one tomorrow um got mostly everything checked asked a lot of questions because I said that you know you need to know your family history in birthing so I asked my mom about you know when I was born and things like that um so I think we're well prepared like I'm still kind of like it's still overwhelming like how much stuff you really need to know or you need to do when the baby comes out but yeah so I am currently in the nursery right now which you probably can't see anything but I'll give you a little sneak peek it is kind of a mess but it's not completely done. There's still a lot of things we need to do. Um, but surprisingly, for one little human, how much stuff you need from them. But I'll flip this around. So this is Nugget's little room. It's a bit messy right now and overcrowded, but we still need to sort a lot of things out. It's not completely done. So this is kind of like what we're going to do. Like this is like all the stuff we got. I bought and I got for the baby shower and things like that. So I just went and bought some like um organization before so this is like the change table gifts and stuff I've kind of just grouped so like donations from my cousin because she's been asking me ever since I was pregnant whether it's a girl or boy actually before I was pregnant waiting to like donate me a lot of stuff um it's got like all these like food kind of like meal prep kind of stuff um toys and like you know little gifts and stuff um I guess the kind of theme I'm going for is like a natural kind of like you know relaxed kind of greenery kind of theme um but yes yeah, so Kian doesn't actually want to hang anything above the crib in case it falls so I'm going to put this like on the side a bit and this like artificial plant just to give a little bit of color um this is the crib we've got so I've already washed the bed sheets and yeah, I don't know how I feel about it because this doesn't exactly go down. So I feel like I'm a little bit short that I do need to kind of like bend over to put her in. So I might have to get a little stool or something. I don't know, I can't reach. And my dad helped to put this up with Kyung last week. Um, something that, that was like the one thing that I started planning. Like one idea I had, we bought that ages ago. Um, just to kind of decorate and put like toys and stuff. And this is our little like breastfeeding chair slash like you know when she grows a reading chair and I've got like a little miffy night lamp got a little um temperature kind of go grow egg and also the monitor I need to figure out how to set up and then in this space I kind of want to do like a little um library like a bookshelf because I want to encourage her to read so I bought these like frames from Ikea. I actually wanted a longer one, but because this size is not exactly the biggest, I had to go with the small one. So I might just try two for now and just put like, you know, rotate books around so Kang and her can kind of like, you know, have a bond over reading because I want him to read to her every night just so they both kind of have something together. And yeah, so these my lovely friend has kindly <laughs> let me borrow her bassinet and um, bouncer just until you know the first couple of months I wasn't planning on having her sleep in our room but it is recommended after the first six months so I'm going to have her sleep in that um, next to our bed and I've got a bathtub because my auntie like full-on gave me a lecture about washing her in the laundry sink so we went and bought a bathtub I have a spare change table for downstairs so I don't have to go up and down the stairs and I've also got this bouncer which my cousin gave me for my baby shower um I think it's good I might end up using this over that because it has a little stand I could use it as like a little feeding once she's ready um and it's also like a nice kind of like thing for her to play with hopefully she likes it um and these are just extra stuff with the bottle ready to go and just like rubbish and stuff 
so that is the current situation obviously there's a few things we need to do like put this up i'm thinking of getting like a customized name putting up like put up here with her name i also want to get a quote i've got some um like dream catches and stuff that i want to put up maybe above the um the change table and oh i made these like years ago i think it was like it's been like 15 years or so i made these like yeah so i think it's really nice i could pass it on to her so it's like these little fabric kind of like animals and it's got here optimistic courage inspiration and strength but yeah i think it's super cute so that is the current state of the nursery um i might do like just another one once everything is all done or once she comes out i might do a separate video once i've kind of announced her oh i got this baby bag too forgot i really love this baby bag it's like so good i've got i've had a lot of good reviews about it so i can't wait to use it um but yeah so that's all i'm so exhausted now it's like yeah i need to take a nap so today is the 22nd of september i am 34 weeks and four days today. Um, it's been a really hard week. I don't have any updates in terms of Nuggets prog process, progress, but um, it's been a very long, exhausting week. My grandma actually passed away on Tuesday when I was 34 weeks. Um, I just wanted to, I guess, give an update on how I've been feeling for the past week. Um for the past like four or five days um it's been r like a really emotional roller coaster like we expected her to obviously leave but i obviously like you know would have loved it if she could stay a little bit longer to meet nugget especially because you know she's a girl and like it would have been my dream for her to be able to meet and unfortunately like Things were going good with my grandma. She was in hospital for five weeks and then she went home thinking everything was fine. And then on the day of my baby shower, like the Friday before, she kind of had a, um, she got really bad sick again and then she couldn't make it. So I'm not even sure. Like she was still there, but she was in a lot of pain. So I'm not even sure if she knew I was having a girl and I couldn't tell her the name that, at least the name that we picked out for Nugget as well um but yeah so this past couple of days i've been obviously like really upset and crying like for me i had tried to in situations like this i try to be helpful and be i guess useful to that's my coping mechanism but it's just been really hard because there is quite a lot of us and there's only so much i can do and like the wake and morning is kind of like an hour away from my house. I've been driving up and down. I haven't been getting much sleep. And everyone keeps telling me, you know, you're pregnant, you're due next month. You know, I've got five and a bit weeks left. Um, I should really be resting. But I feel like it's my duty to kind of help because my grandma is someone that is very important to me. But there's not much I can do and I've barely been getting any sleep. And I know like everyone's like, you know, you need to think about yourself first because, you know, you're almost due. And there's all these like superstitions like, you know, pregnant people can't attend funerals and stuff. And I don't, didn't want to believe it. Like, I don't think I don't want to welcome things into our lives like superstitions unless you really believe in it. I don't believe in dabbling. And that was the one thing that really upset me was to someone to turn around and say, oh, you can't go to a funeral because, you know, you're pregnant. And I feel like that if I didn't, I would regret it for the rest of my life. So I didn't find any problem. And like, you know, a lot of people, you know, I guess they get worried that if you're under a lot of stress emotionally, it may impact risk. But like Nugget's been like, you know, she hasn't been kicking. I don't think there's enough room for her to kick, but she's been moving a lot. Just keeping me company, like she's been moving around, especially when I'm inside. Like it's good that I can feel her. She's comfort comforting me inside. But yeah, I'm really going to miss my grandma. So I was looking forward to like, we've got so much family things happening. Like my cousin's getting married next week. And, you know, I've got two other cousins that are pregnant. But I just wanted to give an update on um, how I am at the moment. So I do have an appointment on Monday to get another ultrasound and also see my OB. So by saying that as well, so Nugget, I feel like has been, I guess something that come kind of, calm my emotions right now but also like my sugar levels have been above the roof like i've started taking insulin 
Um, not a super rapid one, but like kind of like a mid one where it's like 30% rapid release and then slow release just to kind of help with my morning um, scores to keep it low. But the past week, because we've been, you know, um, just like the whole, I'm not sure what it's called a wake or a morning. Like when people come and pay respect, I've just given kind of like eating through in there. A lot of people bring cakes and like food, comfort food. So it has been going up that I have increased the dosage from like 8 to 14. I don't know what the unit is, like how it's measured, but I'm really scared to like monitor myself knowing that's going to be high. So it is something that I have to work on to reduce. Like we have no food in the house right now, so it's a good time to really go grocery shopping and like try to stay healthy and positive for the next five weeks. Um, But yeah, so... I'm not sure whether it's also like all the emotions that's also impacting my sugar levels because I feel like I'm not really eating that much different to what I was before but it's still just high for some reason so. Today is the 25th of September so I am 35 weeks today. Um, yesterday I had an ultrasound and an OB appointment and I kind of left feeling more worried now um, I'm almost there I've got like five weeks left and the last official ultrasound I had was at 20 weeks so every time I've seen the OB I go to see her um, once a month and now I'm seeing her every fortnight and she's been checking um, she's been doing a quick ultrasound but I haven't really gotten any copies or anything she hasn't mentioned anything to be worried about I was worried that because of the whole um, gestational diabetes that um, nugget will be slightly on the larger side and she's always kind of commented oh she's a bit big but that's kind of normal for someone that's going through diabetes um, I started taking insulin so I assumed that you know that nugget will be a lot bigger than normal um, but when I had my ultrasound yesterday um, the guy wasn't too worried because she still fits into the normal range but she is looking a little on the smaller side um, between uh, there's something that was 17 percent percentile um, and then there was something that was 30 25 percentile so the range is from 15 so she is slightly on the small side which kind of gets me a bit worried now um, I'm not sure whether this is like a normal thing that happens during pregnancy, um, especially towards the end, um, whether, you know, I don't know how to explain it, but so yeah, so because I haven't been having, I guess, regular ultrasounds, we can't determine whether, you know, she's had like, um, she's been progressively growing or whether she's kind of slowing down now. Um, I've noticed in the past week or so, maybe because of my grandma and everything, like I haven't felt much of a kicking movement, more of just like a turning kind of um, sensation, which Sunday she did like a pretty big kick. Um, but I've always called her a chill baby because I thought, you know, she's just chill, but maybe because she's not moving a lot, I guess. Like she's moving, I in my opinion, but probably not as um much as she's supposed to and then i saw my ob straight after that appointment my ultrasound and she just mentioned look at this stage like it's probably best to have weekly um ultrasounds official ultrasounds just so we can monitor the progress so she's also booked me in to get a ctg scan just to check the heart rate so when the ultrasound people check the heart rate she was still beating as normal within the range um, but I don't know, I kind of sense that um, it was normal, but at the same time, it was something to be worried about. Um, like, she, the ultrasound guy told me that you know, everything is fine, but then I don't understand why we're doing all these checks, whether it's normal to do the checks or whether she's on the lower end, that's why we're doing it. So, this Wednesday, I've got uh, I have to go to the hospital to do some ultrasound, um, to do the CTG scan, which is like just checking the heart rates to see whether she's reactive or non-reactive, um, to see whether she's responding. And then from now, every week, I have to go and do an ultrasound. Um, so next week, I'm doing a Doppler one, and then I'm doing a growth kind of scan the following week. So I'm not sure, like... I did do a couple of reading online like forums and they say look it's quite normal it just means that some people just had to come out a little bit earlier so I don't may mean that she may come out at at this stage I wouldn't reach the full term so I'll probably reach up to 39 weeks but you know 
she may come out next week or at like 27 weeks or 28 weeks so i guess we'll see like i'm kind of worried like i guess because this is my first child i don't know what to expect so i don't know whether this is normal or not but let's see i guess update at this stage so yeah